I'm Eddie. My mob is the Gangalita tribe from the Gulf of Carpentaria. And I'm Emmy. I was born in Sydney and I live with my mum and sisters. These are our friends, Oki, Jules, Adina and Will. And we're from all over. Come and learn to be safe with us. I can't find my feelings. Hey Eddie, I need your help. Ah, you scared me. What up? Today, I learned we have feelings, and they help us decide if we're safe or not. Yeah, so what's your problem? Well, they sound important, and I can't find mine. I've looked everywhere. Well, you can't find feelings by looking for them. You know, you can't see them or touch them. Well, can you smell or hear them? Nah, not really. <laughs> Poor. What about taste them? What, like chocolate? Nah, but how do I know if mine are working? Well, let's see what happens when we think about some big feelings. Cool, I'm super excited. Hey. Hang on, hey. excited is a feeling. How can you tell if you're excited, Emmy? Well, I can't stop smiling and my body feels like it's full of jumping beans and I feel all wriggly. That's how we find them, our bodies change. Yeah. Remember when the teacher went through all of our lost property items? Oh yeah, my body was all floppy and I wanted to sleep. I know, me too. It was so bulgan. Bulgan means boring. Hey Eddie. Sure does. Let's do another one. Okay, but get ready because this one was yucky. Remember when you trod in dog poo? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's funny now. But when it happened, my face went red and I wanted to cry. I was so embarrassed. It stunk. <laughs> it's good that we can laugh about it now. It was just a bit of dog gunna. Gunna means poo, right? That's right. Okay, enough about poo. So, what does sad feel like? Well, I felt empty when Grandma passed away. I was sad then. Yeah, that's real sad. Yeah. What about a happy feeling? Like when Miss held up your drawing in front of the class and said it was amazing. I loved that. I felt like my chest was puffy and full. I felt proud. So, our bodies help us know how we are feeling. Yep. Our feelings weren't hard to find. They were inside us all the time. So, how do they keep us safe? When our bodies start to feel bad, that lets us know we're not safe. Oh, like if we think a crocodile wants to eat us for dinner. Yeah, being safe means we are not hurt or worried about being hurt. Our bodies are deadly. What? Is deadly bad? Nah, deadly is my mob's way of saying something's awesome. Well, our bodies are deadly, Eddie. Yep, they keep us safe. And we all have the right to feel safe and be safe all the time. An Act for Kids production. From my head to my toes. Hey Eddie, today my teacher talked to me about something super cool. Did you know that we are the boss of our bodies? Everybody remember, we are the boss of our bodies. Really? Yeah, we control our bodies and if we don't want people to touch them, then they can't. What? Nah. I'm pretty sure my family is the boss of my body. They sure act like it. Eddie, eat your broccoli. Well, it is tricky, but my teacher says grown-ups are in charge of things that keep us safe, healthy and clean. <laughs> like when they wipe my little sister's pooey bum. Yeah, and how auntie says I have to shower every single day. Eddie, come on in the shower. Mm. Yeah. But Eddie, we get to choose who we kiss and cuddle. Love you, Mum. I hate kisses, Emmy. They feel like a frog licking me on the cheek. Yuck. I do like to give elbow taps, and sometimes I like to give you and my auntie hugs. But that's only when you make me feel safe, and not all the time. I know. It's okay to change our minds. So, Eddie, now who do you think is the boss of our bodies? We are the boss of our bodies. Yeah, that's right. 
Private part rules? Yeah, I do. Our private parts are just for us. It's not okay for anybody to touch them or get us to touch their private parts. That is rude. And no rude pictures or videos. And no one should ask us to keep secrets about private parts. Hey, can you keep a secret? Yeah, never keep secrets about private parts. Secrets are for fun things, like where I hide my lolly so my brother won't find them. Not private parts. If someone forgets those rules, or if something happens that makes us feel scared or worried, or just yuck, we can tell our safe grown-ups. And you can tell me anything, okay? We can tell our safe grown-ups anything, no matter what it is. No matter how big or small or scary it is. Don't tell anyone, but have a look at this. Yeah, and even if we're told not to. We can tell our safe grown-ups anything, no matter what. An Act for Kids production. We don't have tentacles and Volvos. <laughs> hey, Eddie, we're learning about body parts at school. What, like our head, shoulders, knees and toes? <laughs> Those too. But we're learning about the parts of our body that are private. I already know the name of my private part. I have a buru. That's its language name, Eddie. Families have all sorts of names for private parts. In English, its proper name is penis. Huh? Okay. What about the tentacles? That's another private part, right? Only if you're an octopus, Eddie. <laughs> I think you mean testicles. They sit behind your penis. Uh, okay. That makes more sense. But you have a Volvo. <laughs> I thought it was a car or a biscuit, but someone told me it was a private part. I think you mean vulva, Eddie, not Volvo. I have a vagina and a vulva. The vulva is a part I can see when I look down and my vagina is hidden inside, even from me. From our head to our toes, we say what goes, goes and everyone's got a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the playground, I've heard words like giny and front bum and nuts and butt, but it's really important to know their English names in case we need help. Babies are born with a penis and testicles or a vagina and a vulva. We all have nipples and we all have a bottom. Wow, mind blown. I can't believe I was calling those private parts the wrong names. And don't forget mouths. We all have a mouth. And the inside of our mouth is private too. From our head to our toes, we say what goes. You can say it too. From our head to our toes, we say what goes. An Axe for Kids production. Tell, tell, and tell again. Hey, Eddie. Emmy, I'm busy. Eddie! Can't you see I'm trying to play my game? But, Eddie! Uh-huh, it just won't work. Eddie! La, 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 la. Eddie, 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 Eddie! <gasps> Why are you bugging me? This might help. Oh, <laughs> you were trying to help me and I wasn't listening. That's okay, Eddie. When something's important, you have to keep trying until someone listens. That's called persistence. Hey, Emmy, want to come and play with me? No, thanks, Eddie. I'm feeling a bit yucky. Oh, that's no good, Emmy. Why are you feeling no good? 
My mum's friend came over to babysit the other day, and he was showing me pictures of private parts on his iPad. I did not want to look at the rude pictures, but he told me it could be our secret. Hmm. Hmm. It made my tummy feel yuck, and I wanted to cry. Oh, secrets about private parts are not good to keep, Emmy. I know, Eddie. I tried to tell my mum about it, but she thinks I was making it all up. Now I don't know what to do. I don't want him to babysit me anymore. Oh, that's not good, Emmy. Maybe I could try and talk to my mum again, but what if she doesn't listen? Yeah, that's tricky. But you know, secrets about private parts are unsafe, and we need to keep telling until someone listens and helps. Secrets about private parts are unsafe. I told you. And what about my brother? I could tell him. Yeah, but we're just kids, Emmy. You need to tell a safe adult your problems so they can help you. You didn't give up then, and you shouldn't now. Like you said, if something is important, you keep trying. Who else do you know that can help? What about my auntie or my teacher at school? You got it, Emmy. They're safe adults that you can chat with. And remember to keep telling until someone listens and helps. Okay. Just like me and that Wi-Fi cord. Thanks for helping me with my problem, Eddie. I don't feel so yucky anymore. I'm going to tell my auntie and my teacher, and maybe they can tell my mum not to get that babysitter again. Yeah, sometimes adults can make unsafe choices, Emmy. It ain't good, but luckily there are good ones out there to keep us safe. We have the right to feel safe and be safe all the time. You can say it too. We have the right to feel safe and be safe all the time. An Axe for Kids production.